Hey guys, what's going on? Mr. Evolution here, and welcome to another FIFA 14 squad builder on the Xbox One console. Today, we're going to be making a squad builder of a Greece squad. This is a squad that I really wanted to make because I am Greek, so um, this squad is pretty cool and pretty fun to use for me. And uh, hopefully you guys do go on to enjoy it. I haven't uploaded a video in a while, guys, but I'm going to be recording a lot of content today and over the next few days so you guys can have some content uh, over the next few weeks because I haven't been uploading um, too frequently. So I'm going to try to keep on top of that and give you guys some good content. I remember bringing some more squad builders and also some GTA and Call of Duty content. But you guys can let me know in the comments below what other squad builders you want to see. And now we're going to jump straight into my Greek squad builder. So first of all, we're going to start off with Capino in goals from... Um, Panathinaikos. He's not a good keeper. I'm going to be straight out with you guys, but he's probably the only decent Greek keeper that I could find, but he's not that good of a keeper, so don't get your hopes up when you're playing with him. The two centre-backs, on the other hand, are two beasts. We've got Socrates from Borussia Dortmund, and we've got Papadopoulos from Schalke FC. These guys are machines at the back, and they are just monsters. they got great stats. Papadopoulos, 68 pace, 78 heading, and 86 defence, while Socrates has 77 pace, 81 defence, and 82 heading. So they're based off corners, and they're just rock solid at the back. My left and right back are pretty solid as well. We've got Holobas from... Um, Olympiakos in the Greek League, and he's got 88 pace, 68 defense, and 72 heading. So the defensive stats aren't there. He's got decent heading and also um, very good pace for a left back. That's what you want. You want him to make the runs down the down the side to feed the left mid, and he does that job very well. And he's a great defender to have at the back. And then we've also got Torres Cedas, the in-form version from Roma, with the gladiator chemistry style on him, and he's a beast as well. He's got 77 pace, um, 80 passing, 77 defense, and 79 heading. He's also got 70 dribbling as well well an 80 pass which is pretty decent for a right back so pretty consistent stats across the board and he's a beast player he's rock solid similar to um, Papadopoulos and Socrates so he's not going to be making those runs down the wing although he does sometimes but he's not one of those players that you, that you would um, do that stuff with he's just rock solid at the back then center mid we've got the Greek god Karagounis this guy is a, a god amongst the Greek community he is a machine of a player he's been there through our triumphs when we won the Euro in 2004, Karagounis is just a machine for Greece. And in game, he's not that bad of a player either. He's got consistent stats across the board, except for his pace, defense, and heading. But the ones that you really want are his shooting and passing and dribbling. And those stats are really shine in game. He's also got a really um, good free kick if you guys hit it well. Um, but he's a decent player to have, and he's just a god. When you have, you have to have him in a Greek squad. Right mid, we've got uh, Fets Fazidis from Genoa in the Serie A. This guy's got a four-star weak foot and four-star skills. 80 pace, 69 pace, uh, sorry, 80 pace, 69 passing and 81 dribbling. So decent player to have on the right side. He's got decent pace and with those four-star skills, he's a beast. His shot isn't too good, but he is a good player to put um, balls in to the middle to our beast striker that we're going to be looking at soon. But he was pretty cheap. I picked him up for about 1k. And pretty much all the players that I've shown are pretty cheap. Except for Torresidis, who I picked up for 17k, I think it was. So he's pretty cheap as well for an inform. So overall, this Greek team is not going to set you back very much. Left mid, we've got uh, Yorios Samaras from uh, Panathinaikos. No, no, not Panathinaikos. From Celtic in the Scottish Premier League. So this guy is an absolute machine as well. He's got an inform version with a 74 overall. But I'm not going to pick him up now because since the um, market crash is going to happen soon, his price will probably drop from what it is now to about, I think he's like 90k now. That'll probably drop to about 60 or 50k if we're lucky. So um, there's no point buying his inform now. His standard version is really awesome as well. 73 overall. He's got 85 pace, 74 dribbling, 75 heading. I think he's a 4-star skiller. No, he's got 3-star skill moves, 3-star weak foot, which is a bit of a disappointment. But I picked him up for about 1k. So you're better off buying this version. Um for about 1k instead of paying 90k for his inform which is soon to drop so you might as well buy this or if you want to you can wait and buy his new inform version after the market drops so then we've got two center attacking mids we've got uh chrysodopoulos from um uh, bologna in the Serie A, and we've also got kone uh from the exact same team in the Serie A. both uh, awesome center mids to have chrysodopoulos is probably my favorite player in this greek squad this guy is an absolute machine. He's got decent stats across the board. Four-star weak foot, four-star skills, 77 pace, 74 shooting, 74 pass, 73 dribbling. Just consistent stats to have as a center attacking mid. And he's always there to feed balls to my striker. And he's always there to take the shots when it's on. 
Kone, a decent player to have as well. Not nothing special. He's just got um, good stats across the board, and he's just uh, he does his he does the, the the job role as a center attacking mid. Not as good as Christodopoulos though, who I think is probably the best player in this Greek squad. Then to finish our Greek squad, we've got none other than the beast, second in form, Kostandinos Mitroglou from Olympiakos. This guy is a machine. You guys take shots on with him. He will score if you hit it right. This guy has an insane left boot. And he's, he's even got a, a decent uh, right foot. I think he's got a four-star weak foot and also four-star skills. So he's got 64 pace, which is his letdown. Although I've got the Hunter chemistry style on him, which gives him three um, extra pace stats. He's got 86 shot and also he gets um, a boost of three with the Hunter chemistry style. So he gets to an 89 shot. He's got 76 dribble and also 83 headering. This guy's a beast. Um of corners and as I said his shot is just outstanding you guys need to get him and he's I think he was like 21k I picked him up for 21k and he's pretty cheap you know his market uh, the price is probably gonna drop soon uh, with the market crash as I said so who I reckon he'll drop to back to about uh, 16k after the market price after the market crash sorry but Mitroglu is definitely a player that you guys want in your Greek squad. So that's my Greek squad, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, then please give this video a like. Let me know what other squads you want to see. If you want me to do more like nation squad builders, like maybe ones that aren't like, you know shown too often, like maybe a Swedish, no, actually not a Swedish because I can't afford it, but but you know what I mean, like r random nationalities that have never been showcased before. Let me know in the comments below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how you guys went when you built this squad, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Have a nice day.